Hi, boys and girls. I have this story, A Frog in the Bog. Our story is by Karma Wilson and Joan Rankin. And it's kind of a funny little story. I think you'll enjoy it. A Frog in the Bog. I wonder, what is a bog? Is that like a pond? Hmm, let's see. I wonder if it will tell us. There's a frog on the log in the middle of the bog. Oh, look, it says, beetle boats for hire. <laughs> oh, there's our frog. A small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. So our bog area is someplace that has water, right? There looks to be plenty of water. Oh, he flicks one tick as it creeps up a stick. Look, can you see? One tick in the belly of a small green frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. He sees two fleas as they leap through the reeds. Oh, what's gonna happen? Do you see the fleas? One tick, two fleas in the belly of a frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Hmm. This is the fly rod home. Or, I'm so sorry, the flyodrome. <laughs> like the astrodome, maybe, but the flyodrome. Here's the flies. He spies three flies as they buzz through the skies. What is going to happen to those flies? One tick, two fleas, three flies. Oh my! In the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Oh, those things are in his belly. Oh my goodness gracious. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. There he is. I bet his tummy's starting to hurt. He glugs four slugs as they slink through the sludge. Oh my. Here we go. Do you remember what all he's eaten? One tick, two fly, or two fleas, three flies. Oh my, four slugs. Ew, ugh in the belly of the frog on a half sunk log in the middle of the bog. Look at all those things squished up in his belly. And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Oh my goodness. I think it was the slugs that did it. What do you think? You think it was the slugs that he had so many of them? He inhales five snails from their heads to their tails. <gasps> One tick, two fleas, three flies, oh my, four slugs, ew, ugh, and five slimy snails in the belly of the frog on a half-sunk log in the middle of the bog. What a hog! That frog? <laughs> it does seem like he should have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and not have it all at once, huh? And the frog grows a little bit bigger. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Wait, what's happening? That log with the frog in the middle of the bog starts to rise up <gasps> and the frog sees eyes. Do you see his eyes? See those yellow things? Oh my goodness. It has eyes. The log. And the frog sees claws and a big set of jaws and a mouth like a crater. And the frog screams, Gator! 
it's a gator and he has found a very large frog. With his mouth open wide, all the bugs inside start to crawl and fly and to slither and slide. Out come five snails from their heads to their tails. Four slugs, ew, egg. Three flies, oh my. Look, buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Two fleas, dear me, and one tiny tick. Ick. Look at the frog now. See, the tick came out. Here he is. Hmm. What's happened? And right in the middle of his holler, that frog grows a whole lot smaller. See you later, says the gator, and he romps through the swamp because the itty-bitty frog isn't big enough to chomp. Hmm. <laughs> now... The bugs... In the bog, keep away from that frog, and the frog never sits on a half-sunk log in the middle of the bog. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. I think it is so funny that he eats all those things, and then they all get out, and the gator's like, oh my, you're not big enough to eat. I hope you enjoyed this story, boys and girls. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.